Alright, now you've removed the head and uh, head gaskets off, what we'll find is a really nice mess that's stuck to the top deck. Now, what I've got is this beautiful little tool, which is a scraper, for want of a better word, and it has a sharp blade in it. Now, what you'll see stuffed into the pistons is a uh, paper to stop debris getting into the bores. All right. Uh, we also want to be aware that I don't want to be getting stuff into any of the holes when I'm scraping down the top here. Basically, what you'll find is this mess here is from a composite gasket and uh, it can be quite hard work to scrape off this stuff all right that's why I'm using a razor blade um, this works and uh, with endurance this stuff will come off the original Land Rover gasket is not like this this is uh, a cheaper gasket that's used okay um, Land Rover gaskets are actually made of tin However, these composite gaskets, they seem to do the job better, sometimes. Now, I'm just trying to keep the dust down. So I'm actually blowing out this with uh, compressed air. If not, you'll have to wipe stuff down. Now, this uh, tool is reasonably cheap, and uh, the blades are interchangeable. Cleaning down the top deck, I have 120 grit, which is uh, wet and dry paper. The reason I use this is because it's steel, unlike aluminium where you need a, a very fine grade of uh, wet and dry to uh, clean the aluminium down. Aluminium's a lot softer than steel. Uh, we get away with 120 grit. Now this is wet and dry, the grit sticks to the paper and doesn't drop off like sandpaper. And you've got to keep this in mind when you're cleaning the top deck that you don't want grit dropping down into the bores, okay? so. Um, I use possibly a little bit of grease around the pistons so that the grease will collect the dust as I'm uh, scrubbing. All right. What you're looking for at the end of the day is the machine marks to come through and nothing left on the top deck. This will give your gasket a good chance to work. Okay, so uh, once things start to get clean you can then use accurate measuring instruments to um, set yourself the correct data for finding yourself a head gasket. We're not going to cover that at the moment. However, what I recommend is to um, wire brush the top of the pistons, clean the carbon off so you can inspect a bit clearer to see what you're actually dealing with. You can see with this piston, carbon's coming off quite easily and we can start to see an indentation on the top of the piston. If you're not going to fit the head head gasket straight away, then I'd advise that you oil the bores and grease the top deck. Fairly simple operation and this will stop airborne moisture causing problems for you later.